hey guys and welcome again with a new video okay in this video we are in last lesson of the java CSS, which is a lesson 5 of this website and as you can see we have at this sign up and sign in for a user to want to join our website and we're gonna create a, this beautiful website with a simple design of the schema CSS. but our work is a java CSS, as you can see we just at swiping from the left and the right we're gonna use a java CSS for this and in a lesson 4 we just created this uh, two card of uh, this as you can see when a user click on it the background of uh, this card become a circle and we have a back option to go back to the same design uh, if you didn't see it i recommend you watch it right now but now let's go to create uh, this big website and this is our last lesson after this we're gonna create a response website with HTML, CSS, and Java CSS to know how to use a Java CSS and how to create a beautiful website with a Java CSS. So, if you're ready, guys, let's do it. Okay, now in HTML, I'm gonna start with creating a hero, which is our home page. okay i'm gonna add the header first for our logo now this is our logo as you can see it but let me just explain what we need to create at this as you can see this is our first contact which is a sign up we have a username input and a password and the name and the last name and email so we're gonna first step we're gonna create a this after that we're gonna create a this profile when a user want to um uh, want to fill this username as you can see it's adding a type as you can see it here which is with a name and the last name for a profile that the user want to sign up okay so first let me just create a contact page okay now first i'm gonna create a, this a background of the void and this a background of a, this a purple as you can see it. so first i'm gonna add a two dev because we need a two dev to create a, this background and I want to add a java css so instead of using a before and after of uh, css i'm gonna add a div for this a background because i want to um, hide it for the second one of the signing if you understand that guys bg i'm gonna name it a bg color one for our first background and bg color two the background color two okay and i'm gonna create a, this a circle first then we go for the contact okay now first let me start with uh, creating uh, this uh, profile guys after that we're gonna go with the, this form so i'm gonna name it a profile simple name okay now inside the profile i'm gonna add the icon okay this is our icon guys now let me just create uh, this username name last name email for that, let me start to create a div and let me just name it simple. I name it flex. Now, let me just create a p username. And now just add import for this. And I'm going to add a JavaScript to when a user fill this username. It just add the same type with here, with a type of the import. So I'm going to add a type import and I'm going to name it id which is needed for the java css for the javascript i'm sorry i'm gonna name it username okay now let me just copy this and paste it for a name last name email and let me just add a not active okay not active now for this name last name so let me just change uh, this id of the name i'm gonna name this profile name as our profile okay profile name so i'm name it a very simple just like this profile i'm naming this profile last name okay and this profile email okay now let's go to create uh, this form so to create uh, this form guys so i'm gonna add here i'm gonna name it form we don't have an action for the php let me add h1 
welcome to future view. Now let me first start with uh, this username. I'm gonna add input of the text. Text and I'm gonna add ID for this form. Let me name it a user for this user. Simple. And let me add a placeholder into your username. Placeholder into your username. Okay. Now let me just copy this and paste it for the password and name, email, last name. Okay. Yeah, this is enough, I think. Let me just type uh, this be a password and that is and this be text text email email okay enter your email enter your last name you let me just change uh, this id for this i'm gonna name it um we don't need a password for this id so i'm gonna delete it next for this a name i'm gonna name it name simple name name last name and for this email the same of this okay okay yeah i think this is enough for this now let me just create this i have a comment with this button of the click so um i'm gonna add a pin for this let me just add a span for this and i'm gonna add sign in and i'm gonna add here on click when you use a click on this it go for the sign uh, signing as you can see or login now i'm gonna add uh, this uh, box check box so i'm gonna add a uh, so i'm gonna add a uh, there for this and i'm gonna i'm gonna name it a row now input check box okay okay now let me add last one is a button which is a submit for the next contact, I'm gonna I'm just gonna copy this of the contact and paste it. BG color three four. I'm gonna name it circle two and this be a circle one. I'm gonna change the position of this circle to be here. As you can see it, let me just show you fast. As you can see, I just changed the position of this. Okay. Now what we need else? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Do it fast for this phone. Okay, I'll come back. This is our contact tool. Okay, okay, let me just copy it here for this profile too. Okay, this is it, and this is our contact two, and this is our contact one, as you can see it with our form and the profile, and yeah. Okay, now for this CSS, as you can see, we add uh, this HTML for this uh, filter. I add a custom for this style and I add a span color as a custom with my custom uh, color. You just pause the video and uh, just type it, this, guys. And I add uh, this H1 font size and the color and the P for description. Now I'm gonna start with a hero. I'm gonna add with 100% height bh position relative and let me add overflow hidden okay now for the header position relative i want to add a z index 3 okay and let me just add the padding 35 pixel or 10 pixel enough and four percent for this as you can see it yeah let me just do this yeah okay for the contact i'm gonna style it so i'm gonna add a contact and let me add a contact two which is the same style and i'm gonna add a display grid and grid template column repeat to one of our item center let me add a space for this 50 pixel and let me add a position absolute to be a center so 50 percent left percent transform okay let me add the width 100 percent height 100 percent okay 
as you can see we just create this contact one and the contact two okay now let me just add the contact two to add as index minus two so contact two i'm gonna add as index minus two very simple okay next i'm gonna first start with uh, creating a background for this uh, bg color background one and the background color two okay so here i'm gonna add a bg color content empty position uh absolute let me just call let me just type it instead of copy paste it let me add the right a zero percent with 40 percent height 100 percent we just want to add a width 40 percent and the next background color of the background color too i want to add a width 60 percent so let me just continue now let me just add a background for this a color of the white and the box shadow okay let me add rgb let me 30 percent for this okay next let me just copy this and you know what let me just copy this and paste it here for the inset okay i'm gonna add inset now for this inset five pixel 10 pixel for this and the rgb 20 percent okay and for this 50 percent and let me add this 20 percent of the white color so i'm gonna now let me just replace this minus five pixel minus five pixel 10 pixel okay 10 pixel okay now 35 pixel let me add this 10 pixel 30 pixel and 10 pixel okay this is our box shadow for this but it's not working i think yeah let me just check it let me just continue uh, you know what let me just continue guys very fast so this is our background color but uh, yes now i think yeah this is our background color with a box shadow as you can see it let me just add a z index minus two border bottom left radius we want uh, this radius be uh, like a circle so i want to add a uh, 200 pixel for this as you can see it we added this beautiful radius now let me let me add a transition to go next so for this uh, transition i'm gonna add my custom cubic brazier for our java css so i'm gonna add uh, this beautiful cubic brazier that i created for myself okay this is the first number yeah this is our cubic brazier and let me add a uh, 2 point second point to 2 second i'm sorry okay this is our background color first one okay let me just copy paste it for the next one background color two i'm gonna just change a color and let me add uh, this width be a 60 percent to be here as you can see it i'm gonna add a left zero percent for this as you can see it guys now i'm gonna add uh, this be a right and what we need else let me just change uh, this color to this okay and yeah this is it and i think uh, the box shadow be the same no need to change it yeah so as you can see here let me just show you as you can see here the, this uh, contact have a three grid as you can see which is a first grid as you can see we add uh, this circle so how to fix this problem first before to create just a style the form let me just add a circle and let me just add a position absolute to just fix this problem as as we can see it oh circle one yeah as you can see now we fix this problem let me just replace it i'm sorry okay this is a form let me just replace it to be a bottom okay the profile to be here okay and uh, this profile yeah let me just change uh, this position for this profile too now let's go to start at uh, this form as you can see i'm gonna add a uh, display flex and the flex action column so form let me 
is blue flex and the flex justify content center and align item center flex section column okay position relative left 30 percent i'm gonna add a lift for this so as you can see okay let me see first let me just add a width for this 500 pixel and the minus index 3 oh yeah now let me just add a lift 30 percent okay now it's good very good and now let me just copy this and paste it for our transition of the java css so the transition needed for the java css and i'm gonna just change this transition to 0.5 second for this number first and this be a 33 second and i don't think we need to change it. this cube is here yeah okay okay now let me just add a background color two and the background color three uh, background color three and the background color four okay three four um i'm gonna add it here for this I'm gonna add this be a 60% instead of 40% and this be a 40% for this. So I'm gonna add this right 0% and let me just hide it because we don't need it to show it for you now. And I'm gonna show it in uh, Java CSS. So I'm gonna add minus 60% for the right guys. And for this left minus 60% just like the same. And let me have with 40% good now uh, yeah this is everything we need for this uh, background color 4 and the background color 3 and now we just hide it okay very good and let me just think oh let me just set uh, this checkbox so I'm gonna add a row split flex and let me add a space grid gap 25 pixel margin top 30 pixel to have a space between at this yeah very good next let's style at this input of the checkbox so input of the checkbox i'm gonna add a width 25 pixel and the height 25 pixel margin 10 pixel 0 pixel background onset box shadow onset and you know what let me just add margin top for this to be a center of this checkbox so i'm gonna add let me just add it in html instead of instead of calling with nth i'm gonna add a style for this margin let me add a 10 pixel zero pixel oh this is our contact too so let me just copy this paste it for this yeah now it's better guys yeah okay now for this form input let me add the width on the pixel right margin 20 pixel 0 pixel let me just copy this background with the box shadow okay to do to go for the java css very fast let me add a border radius 13 pixel border pixel solid and the rgb 20 percent and let me add the padding uh, on 20 pixel for this okay remove this yeah now it's better and let me add the transition to add a hover for this a simple hover so i'm gonna add a transition this one more second and now for this hover i'm gonna just add a width for this hover I think now it's yes now we just created this hover next let's go to create a, this profile guys so first profile i'm gonna add you know what let me just copy this and paste it okay with 450 pixel height 500 pixel okay display block margin zero pixel tour to be a center guys and instead of adding a position absolute display block okay yeah as you can see so i'm gonna just change uh, this color of the background uh, i add okay now let me just change uh, this border reduce be a 10 pixel instead of a 15 pixel 
and the cubic base here i think we need a cubic base here so let me just copy this paste it for this cubic base here instead of this okay let me add a z index minus two yeah and let me this z index two okay so now i'm gonna add a, this input of the profile and i'm gonna add a border transparent so before to add a, this transparent for this border i'm just i'm gonna copy this for profile two z index be a minus two and and let me just hide it for now i'm gonna add a transform let me add a translate x to go to the right so for this a transit x i'm gonna add 250 percent okay to go to the right as you can see it i want to create a before to user not just click this and type it here so how to just create a this i'm gonna add a profile before for this to let the user not typing in this input so i'm gonna add a before i'm gonna add a content empty just copy this paste it for the before yeah and just in case let me add a transparent for the background and now as you can see user cannot click at this input very simple and let me just add a profile too okay let me just style this flex of this i'm gonna add a margin for this so as i name it flex i'm gonna add a margin 30 pixel 0 pixel display flex and the flex action column okay okay so i'm gonna add the flex p for this to add a margin for the top and the left okay let me just add the flex p to add a margin margin 20 pixel 0 pixel okay now it's good very good now let me just hide at this border for this i'm gonna add a border two pixel solid transparent now we hide it and let me add the width okay and let me add the font size let me add the font size 1.5 ram okay first let me just add the icon and let me add the position relative and now let me add the icon ion icon okay font size 2 ram color black padding 20 pixel and now let me just copy this box shadow paste it for the radius be a circle 50 percent and margin to be a center display block okay this is our icon next let me add color rgb to reduce a color of the black i'm gonna add 60 percent or 50 percent let me 60 percent okay yeah now it's better let me start at this button as you can see it so button i'm gonna add a padding 15 pixel and a 25 pixel okay font size 0.2 ram or font weight position relative let me add this index one okay next for the radius 40 pixel and let me add the background and the box shadow so let me just let me just copy this and paste it for this background and the box shadow and let me just change it the box shadow and this is the same i need to change it yeah yeah i think this is good 10 pixel okay okay let me just change the border two pixel solid and the rgb 20 percent okay good very good let me add the transition and let me add the width just add something different with 200 pixel and the cursor point okay yeah now it's better guys oh point okay now let's go to create a hover just like the same input i'm gonna add very simple with 250 pixel or 240 pixel um let me add my custom for this 
30%. Oh, 20%. I'm sorry. Yeah, now it's fixing. Okay. Yeah, this is this is decent and good. Now let me just go uh, before. So I'm just gonna copy this contact. What is it? Contact. Okay, okay. Let me just copy this, paste it for this button before and let me add the position absolute top 50%, 53%, lift 50%, transfer translate minus translate. Okay, to be a center. Let me add the width, zero pixel. Height, two pixel. And background be a black. We don't need the border radius. It's just a line and the transition. Let's use a simple transition. Just one more second. Okay, the index. Yeah, this is enough for this. Now let's go to cut a width for this button before okay for this hover guys i'm gonna add a width 300 pixel two pixel let's go next guys this is enough and this is beautiful so next i'm gonna create a, this a circle but i just add the position absolute for this circle let me just see it okay for this a circle i'm gonna add the position absolute Content empty, top, 50% lift, transform, translate, okay, let me add the width, let me add the width, 50 pixel, okay, let me add background transparent, and let me just copy this, box shadow paste it, let me add this black color, and... Let me 20%, this be um, 10%. Now let me just change the position of this. I'm going to left at the left. Let me add this left and the top 92%. Let me add the border radius to be a circle. 50%. Okay z index 2 and now let me just add an animation for this to go top and go back to the same position so first let me just see why this is happen of the circle but let me just add an animation first Trans 10 seconds and let me just add a cubic base here so i'm gonna just copy this paste it for this i'm gonna just change it 2.5 seconds cubic base will be is just change it to cubic base here zero point okay change it this this and this okay this is good and let me just copy paste it for the animation okay now let me add the forwards infinite okay okay let me a sexy person for this i'm sorry i don't know why this is happened but yeah now let me just copy this paste it for the circle two and i'm gonna create an animation so let me just copy paste it and let's go to change the position to be here so for the circle two I'm going to add a translate X instead of the left because I'm going to add animation of the left. So it's not working if I add the left instead of that. So I'm just going to add a translate. Transform translate X minus 670%. 670%. Okay. Okay, now it's good, and we don't need to add anything, but let me just add the opacity. I want to hide it. Okay. Okay, now let's go to create animation of this transp. So, for this keyframes, for the transp, I'm going to add a 0%, 5%, 
and now let me add 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent until we reach in a 100 percent so i'm just gonna copy 60 percent 70 percent okay so now for this i'm just gonna copy this paste it for this top left just copy paste it here and this be here very simple okay now in a five percent as you can see i want this circle be a top we do need to change the left and the right so i'm gonna add, copy this and paste it first for the five percent and i'm gonna add the top 80 percent okay now next one i'm going to just change the position be here for this circle so just add the 10 percent and i'm gonna okay now any 10 percent i'm just gonna change at this position of the left let me okay let me this and let me add the top okay 20 percent i'm gonna add um, let me add a 52% for this to go here for this uh, next one at the top Let me see the top. Let me 46% so let me just see it. Okay, as you can see We add the top left and this left. Okay now next step We don't need to change at uh, this left. So just copy this 10% and add it here. Okay, we don't need to change at uh, this left just change at this top for this 30 percent i'm gonna add you know what let me add this top 58 percent and this 46 percent okay now again copy this paste it we don't need to change this left i just want to change at this top and i'm gonna add 29 percent okay again copy this Paste it. Next one. Just change the top. The top. Let me. Let me seven percent. Okay. Let me see. So again, copy this. Paste it. Very simple. Let me at the top. Thirty-three percent. Now in a seventy percent. I'm. I'm. I want to add a top for this. So in a seventy percent, I'm gonna add. 28 percent next one 43 percent for this 80 percent okay yeah now again copy this paste it i just add a random for this top but we have a lot of black color of the circle so let me just change this box shadow one zero point okay zero five zero five zero five and this p1 okay copy paste it for the, this where is it oh circle one okay now let's see it yeah now it's better guys yeah the color is now better okay now we just finish off with this issue and scissors now let's go for the Java CSS. So for this oh, Java CSS, first before to go with the animation of the Java CSS, I want to add a, this a username to when a user type a, this input, I want to add it here. So I'm not gonna explain about a, this JavaScript. I just want to explain the Java CSS. Let me add a let user this document a get elementary by ID. I'm gonna call it, I think I name it user. Yeah, let me add it by user. Okay, elementary by ID, username. I just copy here and paste it. As you can see, this is our process. And I just add a, a username as a value. When user just type it this, the username feed it and replace the text that added here in this here. Okay, so I'm gonna add a user here at event listener. And just at input and let me add the process I'm sorry okay now it's good now let's see it guys as you can see we just fill this 
Now just copy this, paste it for the na for the um name. I'm sorry for this name, last name, and email. So the process to So as you can see it, this is our name. Okay, not working. Let me just delete this guys to see if these problems again have. Okay, now let's see it. Yeah, now it's fixed it. Now let me just copy this and paste it for the email. Process 5, the last process, user2, username2, user2, let me do it first, okay, process 5, user2, username2, okay, now, okay, now let me just begin our Java CSS. Now for the Java CSS, first, let me just create onclick for this sign up and the sign in. On click for this assigning and I'm gonna name it simple okay and now let me just copy this sign let me add copy over okay. okay now let me just copy this and paste it for this sign up okay sign up and we do need to add ID because I'm gonna uh, because I'm gonna use a query selector for this instead of adding an ID for this. So let me start it, guys. First, guys, I'm gonna name this a background color. So I'm gonna name it simple BG1 and BG color one. Query selector instead of get elementary ID. And you can add ID for this, but let's use a simple a way, which is a query selector. And I'm gonna let me just add a dot for this query selector. Okay. Now let me just copy paste it. BG color and the background color two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Let me just copy this and paste. It. Contact, contact one and contact two very simple we just name the contact one and the contact two next let's name this a circle and uh, let me just delete this okay let's name this a circle a circle one and a circle two let's name this a form and uh, this a profile so as i name it a profile one and the profile two let me add profile one profile one and profile two very simple name for this You know what? Let me just add ID for this form, guys. So for this ID, hmm, let me name it form one and the form two, guys. Very simple. Okay. Okay. Now let us start it. I start with uh, this signing as you can see it. So now let me just create a function signing. Okay, first I want uh, this background color. Just go to the right and the background color three. Show it to the here. So let me just uh, let me just explain how to do it first. Okay, I start with a background color one, background color two, and the background color three. Okay okay i want uh, as you can see let me just show you guys so we have a background color as you can see we have a right is zero percent and the left is zero percent but the background color of the three and the four is uh, adding a 60 percent minus 60 percent as you can see it which is hide it from the right and the left now just copy this for the background color one and the background color two so let me just show you to understand it better background color 2 which is adding a left 
as you can see here for this okay very simple now let's show this background color three and the background color four okay just add a zero percent instead of that and now let me just show you very simple oh i'm sorry guys okay now let's see it guys as you can see the background color one and the background color two hide it and this background color three and this background color four show it as you can see it very simple for this yeah now next let's hide this color this um i'm sorry let's hide this circle one and add a circle two to show it so i'm gonna add circle one and circle two so circle one and the circle two i add a circle two opacity zero as you can remember let me just show you we add this opacity zero so i'm gonna show it now in a java css the circle the, so circle two be opacity one and this be opacity zero now let's see it guys as you can see we hide it now this is circle two show it very simple now let's hide at this at the form and at this profile as you can see it and show the signing or login a profile with a form so as we name it the profile one and the profile two okay so let me just add it uh, profile one and the profile two profile profile two okay now for the, this profile one and the profile two as you can see we add a this transit x which is hiding to the right or to the left so i'm gonna add it here for this i'm gonna hide at this profile one as you can see it and i'm gonna add a this and let me add the minus instead of that and for this i'm gonna add a zero percent for the profile too so now let's see it if we have any problem as you can see we just hide it and this a profile to just show it very simple very easy and i'm gonna just fix it this uh, square so let me just continue for this okay we just hide it now let's hide this a form and show the form next form okay so um uh, i didn't add this form i'm sorry and as you can see guys i didn't hide this so let me just let me just hide it to the left okay let me add a left 15 percent z index minus 2 and the transform and the transform of this where is it just copy paste it and add a minus to go to the left guys as you can see it just go to the left and now call it in this java css of the form 2 let me just copy this paste it i'm sorry guys okay we do it fast form 1 and the form 2 okay <clears throat> now for this form 2 as we added here the transform transit i'm gonna add a zero percent to show it as you can see it and for this the form one which is this right side i'm gonna add i'm gonna add 250 percent instead of minus 250 percent to go to the right i just hope you to understand this and as you can see um we get error let me just see what's happened get elementary by id okay i'm sorry now let's see it guys i just fixed the problem and now as you can see a very very simple animation of the java css this is a very simple guys this is very easy simple animation hope you like it and hope you learn it uh, do it uh, very simple and let me just fix it this uh, form of the profile too so the profile too i'm gonna add height let's see 350 pixels i think this is good so now let me see it yeah i think this is good for this uh, profile as you can see it okay and let me okay and now last thing i want to add which is if you remember i just add here z index minus two 
so as you can see we at this is index minus two this is why this can't use a click on it or just type in here so how to fix the problem as i name here as you can see we just name it this contact one and the contact two and we add a z index minus two to the contact two let me just show you fast and just add it in java css okay you can see i add a this minus two now just add here to fix this problem and if it didn't i add a z index in a form two okay so the contact copy this paste it okay contact one and the contact foo now let me just add the z index you know what let me just copy this paste it so the contact one be a z index minus two and the contact two which is this be a z index two hope you understand this okay let me just see it as a reverse just know this okay now let's see it guys so the contact one and now you can see yes now they will fix this problem and yeah very soon i i think we have this problem of the input because as you can remember i just add a hover for this input which uh, let me just see the problem as you can see we added this problem so how to fix this problem i'm just gonna add hover for this add the width the same width to fix this problem and now yeah now we fix this problem as you can see it guys and yeah this is very good okay now let's go to create a, this sign up of this just copy this and paste it and now very simple you have two ways to just fix it you have two ways uh, which is first is onset using onset if you remember the lesson one and the two is using onset if you don't uh, like using right and left just add the onset and it will be fixed let me just show you first instead of that oh sign up sign up okay i'm sorry let me just show you the work okay as you can see okay why well, it's not working sign up jesus i'm sorry for this guys okay now let's try it again sign up okay now let's see it guys i'm sorry again okay and as you can see it's onset that just delete the first of this the le left and the right which is using onset if you want you can add onset instead of that but i want uh, but i love using this so just reverse this and i'm just gonna just copy this that be a zero percent minus 60 percent minus 60 percent let me reverse of this okay if you understand this z1 zero and let me add this zero percent minus 25 percent minus 250 percent i'm sorry okay z index two minus two zero percent okay now let's see it guys and as i said you can just okay oh and let me add a sign up <clears throat> okay now let's try again guys as you can see it right now this is our login and this is our sign up so that be this my to 250 percent and this be a minus okay now let's see it let me just see it right now yeah now it's better guys as you can see we just fixed this problem and i think the background of this color is not this so the bridge color of the background color three let me just find it guys um i think let me just replace here instead of that and let me this okay now okay what we need else as you can see, yeah now it's better guys as you can see it this is everything you need to create at this website with a sign up and the sign in 
and the more important thing the animation of the JavaScript is very simple animation for this we use this as sign up and the sign in and as I said if you don't like using it this right side and the left side you can add onset instead of that and yeah this is everything for this last lesson as you can see after this we're gonna create a website with a more animation of the response website more design and a better animation and a better design guys hope you're ready for it and that's it guys see you in a responsive episode guys bye